Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> and could Just... you fix one time? So when you think about mediations, you start by thinking of someone who's in the middle, perhaps, mediating between different forces or different unresolved conflicts. And maybe that's actually even to some degree, I began photography with an unresolved conflict. And the conflict was the power of the camera in relation to a subject. So right from the beginning, I questioned who am I to represent another? And so I tried to rebalance, at least here, how someone perceived themselves differently than perhaps I saw them in the photograph I was making. Susan Marcellas macht nicht nur Bilder, sondern sie denkt vor allem über Bilder nach. Also sie denkt vor allem darüber nach, wie Bilder zirkulieren und auch wie sie rezipiert werden und dann auch in unserem Gedächtnis bleiben. Und da nimmt sie so eine Sonderform ein, weil sie engagierte Fotojournalistin ist und tolle Bilder gemacht hat, aber in der Ausstellung eben auch auf einmal Bilder zu sehen sind, die irgendwie zeigen, in welcher Korrelation diese Bilder publiziert worden sind, wie sie in die Welt kommen und dann irgendwie auch an anderer Stelle wieder verschwinden. Und das ist was, was diese Ausstellung einfach so reich macht. Dass die Ausstellung sitzt nicht auf einem Werk, sondern geht quasi mit der Biografie in die Welt. You know, an exhibition in the way a museum is a destination. You come, right? You either know the artist or you don't know. The, you're interested in the subject or you, you're open to the experience. So I hope people come open to have an experience, right? Um, and not, um, and, and take away what they can, what they will. I don't think of it as a something specific as much as it is a, a, a kind of engagement that can carry, carry on in their lives in ways that are unpredictable. Oh boy, I mean, I, you know, if I hadn't gone back to Nicaragua, meaning after the triumph, so I was there extensively for one year from June 78 to July 79 when there was the triumph of the Sandinistas over the Somoza dictatorship. If I hadn't gone back for the first anniversary, I wouldn't have discovered the Molotov man that I wouldn't have discovered that the photograph I made of the Molotov man had been reappropriated in Nicaragua first as a match, a cover of a matchbox or that another couple of years as the, the sort of symbol of the mobilizing of a popular militia against the Contra that the US was supporting at the time to overthrow the Sandinistas. So I've learned myself from the images, the images have, have taught me in a way that there's always something more to, to be responsive to in a way. Dieser Molotov Man hat in den letzten 30 Jahren einfach eine unglaubliche Geschichte hingelegt, weil es nicht nur das Bild ist, das Susan Marcellas gemacht hat, sondern auch darum geht, wie es publiziert worden ist und am Ende landet es auf einem T-Shirt. Also es entwickelt ganz unterschiedliche Bedeutungsebenen und wird deswegen so stark. Nicaragua, I go in 78 and I'm still until for 40 years continuing. I haven't been back in the last two years because of the circumstances there politically, but going back at a 10 year mark, going back at a 25 year mark, had a kind of concept, what, is, what does it mean, 20, why the 25th? People celebrate the 25th anniversary, you know, and, and every five years people celebrate, maybe. But I thought a lot about the 25th as um, half the country was not born at the time those photographs were made. So it was, it was a double meaning for the 25th, from my view. Who would understand this history if they hadn't lived this history? They've heard about this history. so. Going back for the 25th had that kind of significance. I mean, portraiture tends to have a more nature, by nature, 
collaborative process. When I shift to reportage and I'm working with the carnival strippers, immediately the collaboration is in their perceptions of themselves through the voice, through sound. So it's a kind of acknowledgement of a process and it grows. I mean, it's much more elaborate in the, in the exhibition. It becomes more elaborate when I'm working in Kurdistan where I'm working with a very large network of scholars from a community, all of whom know Kurdish history beyond me. I'm like the needle threading through the beads of what they offer and they contribute. So it's a collective project, not just collaborative, but collective. So they each are contributing in ways that we're making something that none of us alone could have determined. Susan Maisellas is a wahnsinnig charismatic Frau. Und dieses Charisma führt auch dazu, dass sie wahnsinnig nah an, an die, die Leute, die sie fotografiert, rankommt. Und das macht auch ganz viel aus bei ihr, dass sie eben nicht nur hingeht, ein Foto macht und wieder verschwindet. Alle Serien, die sie gemacht hat, sind Langzeitstudien. Zum Teil hat sie die Sprache der Menschen gelernt um sich mit ihnen verständigen zu können, um irgendwie ganz viel Zeit mit den Menschen zu verbringen, um sie zu verstehen und dann Bilder davon zu machen. Und das ist was ganz Besonderes. Carnival Strippers originally was published in 76 in a very crude way, black and white, not very fancy, half-tone press. Und dieses Buch äh war dann relativ schnell vergriffen, kam 2003 noch mal raus und zu der Ausstellung haben wir uns dann entschieden, noch mal eine Neuauflage zu entwickeln. Und diese Neuauflage zeigt nicht nur das, was damals entstanden ist, vor 50 Jahren, sondern eben auch das sogenannte Making of. And Felix Hoffmann at CO Berlin, who decided to bring this show to Berlin, he noticed that in the show there's a vitrine and in the vitrine there miscellaneous notes and my notebooks and he said well is there more and I had totally didn't remember I haven't looked back at carnival strippers and I found the box and in the box I started to open the box and I found transcriptions I found a lot of alternative images that I didn't use but that I had considered and the other memory that came back to me is that at the time I was photographing with two cameras, color and black and white. So I really rediscovered the color in the making of Carnival Strippers Revisited. Und diese ganzen Materialien auch zu zeigen, dass sie die strippenden Frauen interviewt hat, dass sie mit denen ganz viel Zeit verbracht hat, dass sie über vier Jahre da war, wie die Kontaktbögen, die Notizbücher aussehen und dieser Materialreichtum entstanden ist, das haben wir jetzt in ein zweites Buch gepackt, das zur Ausstellung erschienen ist.